I'm back again at the same place, different time, my dear friends. I hope you are doing all right around the world. I hope you are feeling lovely, jubbly, wherever you are. Lovely day today. Anyway, it's cold, but it feels nice, refreshing, where I am. So, if you are new, you are at the right place at the right time. Subscribe to Isaac Football Club. Hit that notification bell. You don't have to miss anything right here. And yes, we got some stuff to talk about. First, I was watching Manchester United today, Champions League with the, this is Galasatri. What a game by Galasatri. That name always messes me up <laughs> when I'm when I'm trying to pronounce it. Galasatra, yeah. Manchester United dropped that game for themselves. They should have won that game. After scoring two goals up, Grasatra came back, scored two goals. They score again. And then Grasatra came back again, score 3-3. Three, three. Andre Onana was man of the match for Grasatra. <laughs> Andre Onana, Manchester United goalkeeper, I am just happy Chelsea did not sign Andre Onana. Remember, we were on the wrist for that guy at one point in the transfer market. Chelsea, they want him so badly, so lovely. It didn't happen. He chose to go to Manchester United and that was a good choice. That's a good choice. Wow, what a goalkeeper. What a goalkeeper. As I said, he was the man of the match for Galatasaray. <laughs> it's crazy. Hakim Ziyech is still good. Someone, someone, I can see it. I just feel like something telling me it was a mistake to let Hakim Ziyech live. I think Hakim Ziyech, if he was at Chelsea, he will thrive under Mauricio Pochettino. He has a good left foot and he scored two goals for Gazatra. That was fantastic. Both goals are three kick. You know, this is why I'm saying Andre Onana was man of the match <laughs> in that game. It is crazy how Hakim Ziyech scored those goals. Wow. This is the first time I watched the Manchester United Champions League game from, from one to finish and I saw Manchester United, they, they are not that good. It's just the same thing with Chelsea. They are still, you know, in that mode to fix stuff. They are still working like together, trying to find a, a form, trying to find uh, a way where to go. And right now, it looks like they're lost. Same thing with Chelsea. And the game, United and Chelsea after Brighton, it's going to be a very interesting one. I can't wait to see that game. Very, very good. So let me know down in the comment what do you think. Talking about Manchester United, there's one guy who is linked to them. And I was like, hmm, very good stuff. Check out this. News! Timo Werner is on the wrist of Manchester United for winter transfer window. Manchester United have already inquired about him. No offer or negotiation yet. Real Madrid not hot. It's not hot on the port for Real Madrid. I don't think they want Timo Werner. Timo Werner, he has a great pace. I love his great pace. His lands is just crazy. And I don't know how it's not working as life spec over there. It's crazy. Anyway, Werner not satisfied with his situation in life spec, but the player tendency at this stage is to stay at last until summer. One to watch in the next week. So the player wants to stay until the summer. But the club want to get rid of him. Very sad. Remember, he was at Chelsea. He went back and then he scored a brilliant goal in his return at the club. That was crazy. And we thought, oh, it's going to work out. But it did not work out. Christopher Nkunku was there. And Christopher Nkunku looks like he was the one who used to, uh, you know, put these guys in line to score goals. After he left, and they seems to struggle. And this is why Timo Vena they want to get rid of him. Yeah, it is what it is. Let me know down in the comment what do you think about that. Let's get into some Chelsea news. Let's see what's happening on that one guy here from East Alemano. Chelsea are prepared to recall Andre Santos in January as they are not happy with current situation on loan. At Nadnam Forest, internal decision already made now, just waiting to make 
it form in the next week if there will be no changes. So Andre Santos is at Nadm Forest on loan and the guy is not playing football there. Feels so bad. You know, it feels so bad. In the preseason with Chelsea and Mauricio Pochettino, this guy was on fire. I remember I used to say, I cannot wait to see him in the Premier League. And then we went to buy Casado, which is not bad. I'm just saying, this is the type of player we needed to use in the preseason. You have to use the player you worked in a preseason, you know? That is always good. If you don't do it, things tend out to be bad, like we have seen in this Chelsea team. You know, not everybody's not putting that effort, not everybody putting that, you know, focusing on the game. This guy used to be one of the guy in the preseason, one of the key guy in the preseason. I just didn't understand why he left and go on loan. It's just crazy. But looks like Chelsea, they are monitoring the situation and Chelsea are not happy. They want him back in January. So let's see what's going to happen. Just too many people at Chelsea right now. Too many players. It is crazy. So now there is one player, Chelsea, they were linked with and I did not believe Chelsea, they want to buy that one. I wanted to wait a little bit to find out the information and I find it out from uh, Mr. Emano. This came out yesterday and yeah, check out this. Paris Saint-Germain are set to open talks for Gabriel Mascaro. PSG are in rest to seriously interested in 2005 bone midfield as reported area. Luis Campos following him closely for month understood. Chelsea are not going to bid for Mascado as for now. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Chelsea Football Club need experienced players. Please. This January transfer window is a short one. We just need experience. That's all in this team. Get experience. Stop buying youth. I'm tired of youth, man. I am tired of young players. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. It's not even funny, man. Don't do it. We have enough young players and they are glowing, you know, like that. So many of them. Why buy more? We don't want more. Enough is enough. Get experience in the team. We want to win the Premier League. Come on. We want to get back in the Champions League. What are we waiting for? Let the people who knows about football deal with football. Just like Roman Ibramovich. Roman Ibramovich didn't get involved in all the football stuff like much, like this new owner does. They do these days, you know, yeah. Roman didn't do that. So let the football guys do the football guys. Just like that. Let them do it. So yeah, let me know down in the comment, guys. As I said, me, I don't want any young stuff anymore. It's, it's just, it's too much. It's too much. Yes, they are talented. No, no, no. Experience, that's what we need. Let's move on to Grain Jensen said something about the striker situation at Chelsea. Grain Jensen, you couldn't want to go and spend big money on a new striker in January because there is a chance that Nkunku could come back from injury and into top form. If that happens, you wouldn't know who to play. I think Chelsea should sign an affordable option in case Nkunku isn't able to eat the heights this season after his injury. But if he can get back to full fitness and firing, then the club already has a top striker on their hands. I don't think Chelsea needs to go buy an option. I think we have an option already. Jackson, you can say that. Oh, if we go get a striker, Hoshman and Hoshman in January is not happening in the summer. So right now, Chelsea, I think they will not sign a striker in January. They are waiting to see Nkunku what's going to happen. Like Green Johnson said, you know, if I was high, I couldn't sign a new striker. I agree with that. I agree 100%. And this is what I'm thinking too. Nkunku coming back and it looks like he's training, running on the Kabam Stadium over there, training with everybody and things looks good. So let's see, let's see. It may come good, it may start scoring goals and then we'll forget about Oshman. That's all I say. So let's just wait and see what's gonna happen if things are not working properly. If things are not going by the plan, then go get a striker in the summer. <laughs> that is it. 
On top of that, we need the Champions League football to get a striker. So yeah, that's an option. Let me know down in the comment. What do you think about that? And we got another update about Thiago Silva. Yes, I keep talking about Thiago Silva, right? Check out this. Thiago Silva, when I got here at Chelsea, it felt like love at first sight. And I am still very proud to be here. I love seeing my kids playing here. It is something special. Also, my wife is here all the time and even wants to be at every away game. It's just good to have you, my mate. Just good to have you at the club. I wish he came when he was young, but you know, it happens. We're happy to have him. As I said yesterday, give Thiago Silva a contract. Even if he's not playing, even if we buy a CB, just give him a contract. It's good to have players like him around, you know, just to have that um, experience, confidence, you know, teaching these young players. And he wants to be a coach, so it's a good thing. Start learning from Mauricio Pochettino. <laughs> it's good to have people like this, very, very lucky. If you have people like this, Thiago Silva, five of them in the team, you're fine. Already we have John Terry, you know, on the cab I'm there with the Chelsea youth, so that's good. We have two. So... <laughs> Keep getting them. <laughs> this is what everybody is saying. Experience needed in this team. In this team, experience really needed, and discipline. That is it. So yeah, let's keep going. I saw this one piece of news, and I was like, "Is this true? Really? <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! I was shocked." Check out this exclusive Lord Cameron under pressure to release 2.34 billion fund from Chelsea cell. <laughs> now, everybody who does not know Lord Cameron, I will tell you a little bit. I don't know much about the politics, the British politics, but a little bit. I think he's one of the politicians in a British government and yeah. He was out, I've seen this a little bit here and there, and he came back. As I said, I don't follow the politics too much, but you know, it looks like that money is not being the least. What is happening? It's just crazy after crazy when you think that. To get Roman Bramovich out of Chelsea, what was that for? <laughs> That's a big question. That is a very big question when you think about it. All this time. It's been how many years? Two years, right? And the money has not been the least. That's a lot of money. I remember Roman Ivanovich didn't want that money. He said that money goes to Ukraine. That's what he said. Looks like the money has not been to Ukraine. <laughs> wow. Wow. Now, as I said, this makes me think they just wanted Roman Ivanovich out of Chelsea for no reason, you know? The excuse was Ukraine and Russia, there was war going on. I think that's still going on right now. That was an excuse just to get Roman Ibanovich out. Hmm. Wow. This is why Jose always said there is something about Chelsea. <laughs> there is something about Chelsea. Where is the money? Not being released? Wow. Let me know down in the comment. What do you think about all these guys? I will see you very soon for a brand new one. Subscribe to Isaac Football Club. Hit that notification bell. You don't have to miss all the sweet dreams right here. I will see you soon. Have a lovely day wherever you are. And remember, God loves you very, very much wherever you are. And bless you.